All right, hello everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to returning to Asheron's Call. This should be video number 11. I have uh, recently just came to, right after that death in the last video, I came over through the um, town network. And there's a town network portal in every town now. Um, and it's a central place where you can basically get to any town uh, pretty much in the game. And I came to the town of Kaban to buy some level 4 war spells. So I went ahead and bought those and learned some of those. Hopefully I can start casting some of those without burning up too much mana or fizzling too much. So I'm going to go ahead at this point and go back to the facility. And we're going to go ahead and start taking on those level 15 quests. Available there. I will still be using the level 4 portals, or the level 4 um, buffs from my buff guy here. We're going to go to our level 15 portal area. We're going to double click the first one on the right. And this one is all by the town of Zakal. Uh, you're going to look for the halls of the helm. Uh, you're going to find the Guardian, kill the Guardian, and return uh, with a superior helmet and fiery shield. Destroy the Guardian, return one of these items to me, you'll be re rewarded. So we're going to go ahead and proceed. Hopefully we can burn off our 5% Vitae that our last PKR gave us. When we go through here, you'll be facing a cliff. Uh, mobs will be around. I believe they're decently high level, 30. You just want to go ahead and run down this hill, run into this uh, portal here that you see. Halls of the Helm. Uh, I did forget to go ahead and buff up a couple of my... And I want to go ahead and do a couple of these buffs. Mana Conversion, Mana Renewal Self. This will help my... Mana renew faster, my stamina renew faster, my health renew faster with regeneration. I've already got focus out four. Um, I'll go ahead and cast this War Magic Mastery and Life Magic Mastery. And using up my mana. Stamina the mana here. Go back to my fighting tab here that I've set up. You'll run straight ahead here. Don't jump down. You do have the option of jumping down here. Uh, I don't believe you want to do that. It might be a shortcut, but not that I know of. Uh oh, he just zapped me for. Fizzling on my level 4 spell here. Cool looking uh, helmet. Stop draining my mana, punks. Ten thousand. All right, what time to drain some health for one of you guys? Since my health is starting to run low. There we go. I'm out of mana now. Uh, good thing I bought these mana potions here.
Anytime you uh, use something in your backpack or drink a mana potion or whatever you do like that, you'll want to go ahead and retarget any monsters because the target will then be your mana potions or whatever it was you were you were targeting in your pack. So we're going to go ahead and do another stamina mana here. I need to get some health here soon. So basically I fought a whole lot of uh, these zombies and stuff like that. That's where I run through this first quarter here. Uh, at this point, you'll want to run out here into this main room and go just to the left here or left corner. You'll run up and I believe you stay down. Yes, you do. You will come down this diagonal passageway here. Oops. I am drinking. Oh, uh, the reason I'm drinking mana potions is because I don't have. I'm not in war mode. And I was trying to hit three, hit my three button to cast my level three spell, and that wasn't working. Taking me used a little getting used to uh, doing all this again. Rather than just clicking everything, I'm trying to start using my keyboard. And it's just taking a little getting used to again. Oh my gosh. Time for a drain health. These level 4 spells are definitely helpful. Kill them in one shot most of the time it looks like. But we got a fizzle there. So pump a few more points into war magic and hopefully we won't be fizzling anymore. Uh, we were fizzling early because we had to have a tape penalty, but I think we've long worn that off. Thankfully, the tape penalties are pretty easy to wear off. Um, you will want to try to wear them off, though, rather than continuing to die over and over again. And it's... Uh, don't remember this dungeon real well. I do think I'm going the right way. We'll find out soon enough. Yes, this is right. You come up here in this main room again, but you'll be on top and just run run right past this and down. And keep following this passageway. Actually, I think we're getting pretty close to the end here. Here, I believe you go left. You have a T, T there. Quit draining my mana, you punk. He resisted my spell. And I think that's the Guardian Master right there. I know it's a Lich. Somewhere down here is that Guardian Zombie. I am out of mana again. See if I can cast a stamina to mana with five mana left. Yep. Alright, so there I just wiped out about, feels like about ten zombies. It's close to that, I think. A lot of these are low level spells that I'm not interested in. And I'm not going to loot everything, just looking at a couple of them here. Only a 50% burden, that's not bad. Alright. Going to peace mode, your stamina will restore quicker. And I do believe this is the last room where the Guardian is supposed to spawn down here. 
No, it's not. Not yet. So we'll have a bunch more zombies to fight here. You'll run through this large room. This is the right way, however. You'll continue to run here, and it's not much further. This is the right room. So one thing you can do is, one, it's a couple of them see, you can kind of go back so you're not having to take them all on at once. And I better watch myself here, or my health will... I'm gonna go ahead and turn green. Ah! Died. That's my second death in this game. Yeah, I knew my health was getting low. I was trying to drain health from one. I should go ahead and try to make my way back to where I was. Here's where I dropped. Again, no pyros. The pyros that I lost looks like they just disappear. It's just the loot that I had. Again, one of the most valuable items that I had in my pack. One of those 10,000 valued items. And as I level up more and more, um, I will start seeing more and more of those items drop on death. Like I hit with that one. From the Guardian of the Helm, you can see. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and try to take out the Guardian of the Helm here. And he is obliterated with just one shot of a war, war, war spell. Ah, I just got hit with that. Ah. Wipe these guys out real quick, and I will... Alright. So go ahead and loot these guys real quick. I always use all the money I can get. Especially if it's not too much burden. At this point, probably wouldn't worry about burden too much anyway, because I'm probably going to be going right back to town. But, for the sake of it, I'm not going to pick up anything that's too heavy. 10,000, I'll always take something like that, especially at only 400 burden. It's a pretty good trade-off. Sneak our way over here to the Guardian, which we wiped out. You'll pick him up. This is the two items that you came here for. Armor level 200 helmet and a fiery shield. And that's about all you need out of there. You can check the... The chest over here might have a couple of valuable items on it. And you can continue to run through the dungeon, run through these doors if you want to, but after you're that, you can just go back to the ability gym and go trade in your items, your fiery shield or your superior helmet that you picked up from the Guardian of the Helm. So we'll run right down and trade those in here. Finish this quest up. See if we get any more experience than 103,000 than we last got in the level 10, on the last level 10 quest for our first level 15 quest. So we'll go ahead and slide either one of these items over to this warden. And almost double the experience here. Um, now level 20, um, she gave me 181,000 experience with my little plus four experience trinket on. And that completes that quest. We'll be back here in the next video. And I hate to say that we'll be doing the next quest in the next video because sometimes it doesn't work out that way. But that's eventually we'll try to get on to the next quest in the level 15 area here and show you how to complete that. With that, thanks for watching.